uh, as you all know, uh, in terms of property value, values, nobody can, nothing can beat IT Park. So we're very happy to have acquired the largest. Continues to boom. It's a very booming district. So the property acquired uh, is uh, right beside Avida Riala, in front of that newly opened road, uh, fronting the Boitis property, and and just a stone's throw away from the future regional mall of Ayala inside IT Park. So this is red. This is the regional mall that's under construction now. And maybe the next, uh, right? So this is how the property looks like. It's 1.17 hectares. I'm sure mga Taga Cebu, we've always seen this property. We've always wondered what was going to happen to this property. And now you know, it's ours. No? Uh, the El Camino's uh, property. So you have advantages like the, the future mall, uh, Aceda Hotel will be here, and the three new access roads that connect to Vanilla, it will be a much more connected site. Now I turn it over to Norm. <laughs> Thank you. So um, there's three elements we want to discuss with you today. Um, first and foremost, if we can go to the next right. slide. Uh, basically, what's really important is uh, with a development like this, we believe it's really important from a placemaking point of view to really create a 24-7 environment. So we're not just looking to come in with residential or an office building. We want to participate with both of those and then connect them via um, retail environments. Um, and I think that's very important in terms of the success and the placemaking. So what we've chosen to do is uh, here is Del Mar, and then here's a smaller road called India. Um, the Ayala development is right next door. So what we've tried to do is to position the residential tower at the front of the property at the 100% intersection and basically design it in a way where um, we can take advantage of views that both look over the golf course and out towards the water, towards the, uh, the new zones where we'll probably have a BDO component at the bottom and then a higher end uh, class A office environment at the upper portions. And you'll see in a, in a minute here how we've kind of started to look at how to stratify the layering of that. But I think what's the second point that's really, really critical here, the site has been called a parkland, if you will. It's a green environment to the area, and that's something we do not want to lose. We want to actually build off of that, and um, there's some beautiful trees that are there. We're looking to try and preserve a few of those, and then really, through the use of the boulevard and the creation of pavilion-style retail, um, we are looking to create our own soft park area, engage it with people and uses, you know, we'll have patios and f and spilling out, engaging into this wonderful environment and helping to make this truly that 24-7 type of environment. So again, um, you know, a class A um, residential development, a series of connections of retail um, linking through outdoor spaces and uses, designed in a way also to try and take advantage also of what the Ayala development has done with the preservation of their open space so that we can play off of each other in that respect and then terminating with an office building uh, towards the rear of the site. Um, Jojo, you want to add some things? Well, one of the other principles that we'd like to uh, achieve here is to give the users a different experience. Uh, this is a very unique way of planning mixed use because uh, as you can see here, uh, the site is very porous, meaning people can just go from any side of the site into the property, into the retail area. Most uh, mixed-use developments don't do that. They have structures above the site, uh, usually parking podiums, and that creates a barrier uh, and doesn't give people the openness and the uh, experience that they are one with nature. But here, uh, we try to do the opposite. The, the, the uh, parking will all be at the basement level, and although uh, it's more costly to build it that way, it creates a different feel. When people are into this retail area, they, there's a mix of retail, merging with nature, preserve that park feel uh, within the property. And we believe that uh, this is one of the very few properties not only in the Asia Town IT Park, but in the whole Cebu Business Park, where uh, this kind of mixed planning is done. 